My aim was to get rid of the impression of fingers being sausages and make an impression of a girl's fingers. So first of all I study and fix proportions. I noticed through my experience that if something goes wrong, the problem most likely is in wrong proportions. Basically I make the hand more square shape. Next I adjust both of it. Wrong bone placement also makes an impression of unnatural. In conjunction with pose I correct proportions of the fingers. They were too long for my taste. Next, I simplify the basic shape of my future hand, bring fingers to a more cubic shape, as if it consists of rectangles. It may be tempting to open anatomy book and produce all small details and anatomical nuances in hope to make it super real, but in fact, the simpler and more understanding is the shape, the more it is pleasing to an eye starts to recognize itself in the details. So to succeed in future I recommend to start with a good clear shapes. My favorite and most uh, useful tool for this is high polish brush which can be brought by pressing B and H on the keyboard. I notice some mistakes in fingers more clearly now and it's easier to fix them. Moving down, I work on knuckles, the fights all now and inside of the palm. Slowly start to round up and define the shape of the fingers. It's quite a monotonous work where I define the phalanges, bones, connections, and the nail. The nail part takes the most attention, as it has quite interesting changes in forms and planes that, if captured correctly, will give a good feeling of realism in the end. Honestly, I can spend the whole day putting anatomy details to the hand and it will still look plastic, and everything changes once I do the nails, so it is a very crucial part in hand modeling. The same operations I repeat with the rest of the fingers.
from my experience, I came to conclusion that for a good looking hand, the following moments are the most important. Proportions, bone placement and nails. But what sells it most of all is actually artistically to express the character of the owner. It's almost like a portrait. Every individual has its own unique hands, children, elders, women, men, skinny people, chubby and so on. So I mostly concentrated on expressing the impression rather than putting small wrinkles, details, muscles and so on. As for this case, for the 10 year old girl, it's mostly a rectangle fingers filled with water, which is notable for all children. It has less features like bones definitions, wrinkles, skin folds, and is rather smooth with very subtle changes in forms and planes. From the first sight, it may look easy to sculpt children, but in practice, they are considered the most difficult characters to make. I had to be very careful when sculpting, not to lose this impression of childness, which is the opposite to modeling the hand of the father character which has lots of remarkable features and quite defined bones, folds and so on. video, I will start setting up my scene, building environment and setting up the render. Mm -hmm.